Uh, hi, welcome everybody, and sorry for the 532. I made the slides last week, so um, we hadn't had a chance to upgrade. But um, as, as I was told, uh, there's already one guy working on our Docker container to upgrade to 5.4. Um, for now, I'd like to show you a little bit uh, what we had to um, do to actually have a, a stable cluster the last couple of months. Um, First, I'd like to show you a little bit of an introduction. We were using Elasticsearch for about three years in production now. Uh, we started up with version 0 0.9, um, and are now running 5.3.2. Um, we have a setup with six physical machines running LXC containers, Elasticsearch using uh, six nodes out of those. Uh, every node with uh, about 32 gigabytes of, of RAM. Um, we currently have about 31 indices, slightly over 640 gigabytes of data. Just to give you some, some uh, notes or some, some pods you can <coughs> base or cluster at. So we, we started up with the, basically the history, the story begins when we upgraded to um, 2.4.1. Um, upgrade went fine, rolling upgrade, no problem at all. A couple of days later, we noticed a radical decrease in performance. So response time was getting slower and slower. Um, and that was the time when we, we first, we, we had basically we had no clue. So we, what we did first is to, we actually uh, extended the whole monitoring. We put in all the JVM metrics the, the Stats API provides. And after a couple of days, it kind of looked like this. So this is the, the JVM heap stats after the, the upgrade. Uh, what we saw here is, yeah, we got a leak. So the only thing that right about here was about the time when, when the performance really decreased and um, only a restart of, of the nodes fixed the problem temporarily. And in the end, we had about a, it always depends on the traffic you see the the end, the graphs in the end are, uh, is a weekend. So it really depended on the traffic. So during a week we had to restart the, the nodes every, let's say, two or three days. So we could do that without interruption of, of, the, of the operations, but nevertheless it's, it's bothersome. Uh, you don't want to do that. Uh, what we then did is a heap dump analysis using uh, Eclipse Matte. Uh, which gives you a, a nice overview. You can import your, your heap dump and actually collects and aggregates the data it gets. And we saw here about four big parts. Two of them being caused by Groovy. So our Groovy scripts are, as you could see, not that optimal or something went wrong there. We didn't really know, but we actually know what the problem was, which was a big step forward compared to not knowing what caused the memory leak at all. Um, yeah, you can see that the, this is also like Java Lang. It, it's okay. <coughs> Java can have some memory. But the bottom and the top are based on, on the Groovy script. As we already had in mind to, to upgrade further, uh, 5.x was, was released. Um, we said we don't want to waste too much time exploring all the Groovy stuff but rewriting all the scripts uh, using Painless. So we worked on that um, to, to rewrite all the things Groovy did in Painless and get the, get the update as, as soon as possible. Uh, that came on for, for a couple of weeks. I think there was some major... Alec, Dominic, can you about tell me what the, the effort were to, was to, to rewrite everything issues while while updating. One was uh, that we worked with OR and AND instead of bool queries. So most of the work was spent really after this. Um, and we have some of the queries are about more than 1500 <coughs> lines well formatted JSON. And the other thing was to rewrite uh, those scripts to painless because um, there's not that much documentation not many people with experience 
so no blog post or something <laughs> like that the moment you did it. Um, but by spending more time than I was thinking about, we, we get it up and running again. So when we finished, um, we actually during a, a rather long downtime release. Um, we upgraded to, to 5.x, we re-indexed all the, in the previous indexes who are still running 1.7 to 4x, we upgraded and we used the, the re-index API to re-index the index to 5.2.2, um, which went rather well, together with a decrease of the heap space. So we were like, yeah, we have uh, like 32 gigabytes of RAM, why not give them like 31 since we have it, more is better. Um, turns out it's not the case. Use, not, use only as much as you need and not more. And we are now decreased to 12 gigs of RAM, uh, 12 gigs of heap, uh, without decreasing performance. So as you can see, this is the, the previous graph with 2.4. This is the new one. You see we decreased to, to 10 gigs. We saw that the, the garbage collection basically kills everything uh, up to five gigabytes. So basically all we need is about five gigs. And just to make sure we doubled it, made a sweet 12 gigabytes without losing any performance. And with the result that we have like a rather symmetrical garbage collection um, from the heap. So this basically solved the problem for the, the memory leak but after upgrading to 5.2.2, we had sudden crashes. Like no peaks in memory, no lock error messages, nothing. They just stopped working. Um, we had a, a post on, on, we posted on the forum. We found other guys, other people with the same problem, uh, same symptoms, basically. Uh, but we had no idea what to do. So we um, <coughs> just keep on upgrading, out upgrading the bug. So for now, we, we step to 5.3.0, still problem persisted. We upgrade to 5.3.2, problem was resolved. So as of now, we have a stable cluster, which is nice. And which is also the reason why I don't want to like upgrade right now, <laughs> because hey, we have a running system. Uh, nevertheless, we will, no worries, but um, <laughs> as of now, we're quite happy that it's, it's running smoothly. Most interestingly is about our learnings, like from development point of view, use less field data, use more doc values, and it's good for your memory. We had um, scripts which were recompiled every time, or basically every time and we rewrote them using parameters. Elasticsearch made a really good job here on saying what it bothers the cluster in the logs. So if you haven't had a look at your logs, please do that after you upgrade because there's really more stuff there and, and really helpful stuff in there now. Um, stick to the same defaults, uh, which we also had to learn the hard way at do not make any heap dumps in production during like live operations. Because in our case, uh, the cluster halted during the time the heap dump was, was being produced, which were a couple of minutes. Um, you can't make heap dumps if it's already crashed. So if the JVM is not responsive, you can't make any heap dumps, which sounds obvious now. <coughs> um, as mentioned, reduce your heap as much as possible. Uh, we also revisited all the settings and found that we had the thread pool size, the thread pool sizes um, way over the top to compare to what our our machine actually can can give us in, in terms of threads. Um, there's a, a a formula which you can apply to the amount of cores you have, what the best uh, settings for these these parameters are. Um, you can look them up yourself, it depends on, on your setup. Which is actually the last point. We found that there's no specific answer to, to, a, to a question. It depends on your cluster, on your data, 
on your queries. Um, and there's no like, oh, you got memory heap problems, you have to do this. It always depends on how you use the class and what you put in. So for the next steps, uh, which we made basically manually, is extend the monitoring. Um, we saw that, that the already mentioned X pack is now also available, um, like combining all the, the watcher, the shield stuff, which was renamed now. Um, something really they have to, to dig into also a security point of view. It's um, with, the, with the shield. I don't know, what's, what's shield called now? Security. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> So um, we're going to uh, dig into XPack, evaluate if it makes sense for our cluster. And um, yeah, I didn't write it here, but next steps also upgrade to 5.4 or 5.41 if we maybe upgrade next week. Um, that's, that was about my, my short little history, what we did last couple of weeks, last couple of months.